Okay, so this is our knotless goddess box braid wig. In this video, I'm going to show how you can wear your braided wig or any wig for that matter glueless by just sewing on an elastic band. I'm going to, of course, put my stocking cap on. Excuse my hair. I don't have it braided down. But of course, if you braid your hair down and get it flat, the flatter your install will be. So I'm just going to try this on, checking out the parting. This is how the wig comes naturally. You don't have to worry about bleaching the knots. Just put that cap on and you can get these nice parts. Okay, so I'm going to grab my elastic band. You can purchase these right on our website. These are great because it has the clip on it like a bra strap where you don't have to be extremely accurate with your measurements because you can tighten it and loosen it. But what I'm measuring is the top of my ear and then I'm going to cut that excess elastic off because you want to stretch it and make sure that it reaches the top of your ear because that's where you're going to sew the band on to. So again, I'm just cutting that off and then I'm going to double check my measurement is stretching it and making sure that it reaches the top of my ear so this is my braided wig again so right now i'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off i have our lace cutting scissors that these can be found on our website as well i love them because they're extremely small and precise but all i'm going to do is just follow the natural curvature of this wig and cut the lace right off So when I got to the front of the lace, I made sure that I did some dips and curves because I don't want to sh cut straight across. I want it to look the most natural, so I'm going up and down with my scissors. Next, I'm getting my needle ready. I'm getting ready to sew that elastic band that we measured before on each side of the lace where I cut it off on the side. So I'm going to sew one side on. You just want to make sure that you line your band up so you're sewing it where the clips can attach on both sides. So I shared this tip before I was surprised how many people were not aware of this but when you're sewing and you get to the last stitch all you have to do is circle your thread across around your needle and you don't have to tie a knot it will kind of create a knot for you so you circle the thread around the needle and then pull up and then you can cut it right off instead of having to tie the knot. So one side's down, I'm gonna go ahead and sew the other side. Again, I'm sewing straight across where I cut where the lace goes around my ear. I'm gonna line the lace up with that band and sew it. Okay, so now my elastic band is on, so I'm going to put this wig on my head and show you how I can install it without having to use glue or our melting spray. So I have it on the tightest, but again, if that gets too tight, I can loosen that elastic band. Alright, so I'm cutting my baby hairs and I'm using my lace cutting scissors and just cutting down so I don't have like a blunt cut. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and lay my baby hairs with our melting spray. This gives it a nice little hold. Um, it's not going to be oily. I just use a little bit on my comb so it's not going to be like hard, crunchy baby hairs. So I'm going real light and I'm going to fix the hairline up. Okay, so I'm just gonna fix these baby hairs up a little bit more. 
But um, I love a braided wig, and I understand that braided wigs are not for everyone. But I don't enjoy sitting for hours to get my hair done. And I switch my hairstyles up too frequently that it's not even worth the wait. So I can put this wig on, take it off at night, wear curly hair tomorrow, wear a bob the next day. That's the life I like to live. And if this is for you, information about getting this wig can be found below in the description bar. We also sell those elastic bands so you can make any wig that you have glueless very easily and also our melting spray. You can use the melting spray for baby hairs or to adhere your wig down.